Hey there everybody, it's Mark Curley. I'm back with another How to Draw video. Um, I'm going to be showing you today how to draw a chibi character that is crying. Um, instead of just drawing the picture in isolation though, I thought I'd show you how you could use a drawing to be a decorative element of a, of a handmade card. Um, say a friend of yours is moving out of town, they're having a going away party or something, and you want to make, you know, give your card that personal touch, or maybe you're just cheap. Let's face it, cards are pretty expensive these days, people. I'm going to show you how to do one by hand. So let's go ahead and zoom in on this square. That's where I'm going to be drawing our little crying chibi girl. All right, so here we go. I'm going to try to do this with a minimum of uh, guidelines. I know a lot of people don't like to use guidelines, and with chibi characters, you don't need guidelines so much. So uh, I'm going to start, though, with just a, a, a rough kind of curving line like a half circle I guess you would say it is. This is the top of the character's head uh, and later on I'll be doing the details uh, uh, of the pigtails and so forth but I'm going to begin by doing the bangs which is just a sort of series of uh, curving lines and people who've seen my other videos you've seen me say this that as you reach the center of the circle you tend to start curving in the opposite direction that's just the natural way that hair falls on the head keeping it very loose right now. I, I don't need to commit to my final lines yet. And uh, now I'm going to go ahead and do the face. And before I do that, maybe I, it would be a good idea for me to zoom in even closer so that you can see the details of what I do here. Okay, so here we go. I'm going to start drawing uh, the shape of the face coming down um, from the sort of that second strand of hair that I had drawn there. And it's going to come across to just a little bit of a point, the point of the chin and then curve gently back until it comes up to an area over here where we will uh, put the ear. Might as well just get that in there right now. Uh, and uh, strangely enough, instead of starting with the eyes, I'm going to actually start with the mouth. So watch how the line begins here, just a little bit in from that uh, line of the cheek. And this is kind of fun. You get to do one, two, three kind of curves there uh, in, along the top of the mouth. Uh, that is uh, uh, going to sort of uh, indicate that the person is uh, uh, really wailing, you know, crying so loudly they got their mouth open wide and the upper lip is like trembling and so forth. Um, you know, the whole thing with chibi characters is uh, exaggeration. I think that's the fun of it. So you're kind of doing a ridiculous caricature of what someone looks like when they're crying. Um, now I'm doing the eyes. Now notice that the eyes are kind of curving up. This is a common thing on happy faces, actually, oddly enough. But it also uh, can do double duty for us on uh, doing the eyes of a crying character. Uh, notice I've put two uh, secondary lines. Those are, those are the folds of the upper eyelids. Um, but very crucial for this crying character is to get the curves of the eyebrows. And watch how I do this one. It's curving across like this, and it sort of zigzags at the end. You see this very often in both angry uh, and sort of embarrassed or sad-looking eyebrows. This little crook here, I think it sort of just adds to the feeling of a wrinkle of the brow. Notice once again that there is no nose uh, at all in this drawing. Very common to uh, chibi characters. And uh, one other thing that I can do here is to add the actual tears. So I'm going to put uh, an indication of uh, one tear here, another one here, maybe this one a little larger, just for variety's sake. And uh, I might even go ahead and drop in one or two flying off of the uh, head. Of course, we're trying to exaggerate things as much as we can. Uh, somehow, the chibi characters always end up looking cute, no matter what it is that uh, you're trying to draw. Now, uh, I, normally I would wait until the whole drawing is done before um, bringing in my uh, black colored pencil, the Prismacolor, but I think since I'm already zoomed in, I'm going to go ahead and do that final work right now in time lapse. Now, the uh, one other thing that I think we can add to this uh, is to uh, put a little bit of um, going red in the face. It's not really blushing, is it, when someone's crying? I don't know. I will leave that to my viewers to educate me. Is she blushing, or is she just going red in the face? 
Uh, in any case, this sort of helps add to the intensity of the crying. And now I'm going to pull back so we can see the whole square again, and then I'll show you how to draw uh, the body, the pose that I've come up with for this crying character. Okay, so we've pulled back, and now I'm going to draw the body. I'm going to try to move through this pretty quickly instead of doing real um, line by line you know, for everything, otherwise the, the video will go long. And you guys know I hate when my videos go long. Uh, so I'm drawing the top of her shoulders here. She's going to be wearing one of these classic um, uh, Japanese high school girls sailor suit type uniforms. Um, and uh, drawing these sort of two, uh, almost like pizza slice. <laughs> I'm always comparing things to food. I must be hungry. Um, these two slices of pizza here, they form uh, the, the top part of that collar uh, of the uniform. I'm going to go ahead and drop in a, a suggestion of a ribbon here. And uh, then it's time to do the arms. I'm going to make one arm that comes straight across. She's actually kind of down... Um, on the ground with uh, sort of kneeling. Uh, she's gotten sh so emotional, She's her l knees must have buckled and she's just dropped to the ground to start wailing. Uh, so we got this arm in place and uh, going to drop in some lines for the fingers. Uh, chibi characters, generally they, we don't start delineating every single detail of the fingers. We try to keep it simple. We, I'm using the word we as if I'm part of some <laughs> Society of Chibi Artists. I'm not, I'm just a guy. Uh, but anyway, let's uh, go ahead and finish the second arm that's curving across here to meet the first. It almost looks like a sort of uh, apology scene. You know, you see this a lot in Japan where the person will bow down to the other to apologize. So maybe that's what I was thinking of when I uh, came up with this pose here. Uh, going, ahead, going ahead and finishing off the top of her blouse. And here, this is where we're going to start to um, show the, the knees, the sort of lower part of the legs. Uh, they're coming out from underneath her uh, schoolgirl skirt here. And uh, let's start with this leg over here. We don't really see the upper part of her leg, just this lower part curving back. I'm going to go ahead and put lines in for her... Uh, sock, I guess it must be here, and uh, then a foot wearing one of those classic uh, penny loafers. I tend to see the characters that are dressed in this uh, school uniform. Seems like they always have brown penny loafers. Now that I've said that, someone will say, no, it's not true. Not every time. I've got dedicated manga fans out there that are watching watching, waiting for me to slip up. And of course I do, quite routinely. Anyway, let's finish this other one. This is the sort of uh, other penny loafer that's, it's all in, it's kind of enforced perspective here, so you don't see the bottom part of her um, uh, leg uh, on this side. It's just sort of back there behind. And uh, if, before I go ahead and do the final inks, uh, not really inks, but uh, black colored pencils on this one, I think I'll zoom in because this was a little light and a little far back. Uh, we'll zoom in there so that you can get a closer look at what those lines look like. All right, so we've pulled back now. The only thing left to do is the shading. Again, to sa save time, I'm going to do this in time lapse. Um, but uh, if you do want me to do a, a more detailed video about shading chibi characters like this, go ahead and request that. I'd be happy to do it. Uh, for now, though, let's go ahead and finish this off. All right, well that pretty much takes care of that. Let me pull on all the way back so that you can see what this illustration looks like as part of the card. Uh, I'll have a few final words for you and then we can wrap things up. 
Okay, well, there you have it. That's the finished product. Um, using a chibi character as a decorative element in a handmade card. You could add color to it, you know, watercolor or markers. Um, but let me know how it goes. If you make a card like this, I'd love to hear how your friends react. Um, hopefully they'll be impressed. Hopefully they won't accuse you of just trying to save money. Dude, I'm leaving town. You can't go to a card store and spend $3? Uh, probably your friends don't talk like that. Why do I always do like the voice of a surfer dude? Dude, we're going down to the clown bake. It's going to be awesome. Um, <laughs> maybe you do have friends who sound that way. I don't know. But this is my series, Mickey Falls. I want to thank you for having supported me getting those four books in that series from uh, HarperCollins and also of special interest to these days, Brody's Ghost, the uh, Scholastic Edition available at uh, book fairs in schools across the country. I've been hearing from kids who have actually seen it in the schools who have bought it. I really greatly appreciate your support. But let's go ahead and wind this one down. I'm going to give you a little heads up about the next video coming out next week. I'm going to be drawing uh, or doing a video on how to draw the same character at three different ages um, as a baby, a teenager, uh, and as a middle aged. Uh, uh, woman and uh, to make it even more challenging I'm trying to do it in a realistic style not a manga style so that'll be interesting to see how that turns out but uh, until then let me go ahead and wind this one down I really do hope you enjoyed this video thank you so much for subscribing for supporting me uh, for leaving comments I greatly appreciate it I, I do hope you enjoyed this video and I will be back with another one real soon